caffeine. If you're a caffeine addict, you've probably grabbed a cup of coffee while visiting Disney World. Did you go with the safe choice of Starbucks, or do you tend to visit the Disney exclusive Joffrey's Coffee and Tea locations? Each Disney World park has a Starbucks and at least one Joffrey's kiosk, and people tend to have strong opinions about which spot to visit. So which is the best? Hey everybody, it's Chris for All Ears TV and AllEars.net. Today, it's all about breaking down the key elements to define who is the best of the caffeine giants in Disney World, Starbucks or Joffrey's. We not only went straight to the review section of AllEars.net, but to our social media to compile this list to help your fellow viewers decide whether to visit Starbucks or Joffrey's for the best coffee in the world. I'm sorry, I read that wrong. In, in in Disney World. Yeah, that makes more sense. First up, Starbucks. Starbucks has six locations throughout Disney World, including one location in each Disney park and two in Disney Springs. The Starbucks locations in Disney parks are not called Starbucks, but go by different names to integrate with the theming of each park. For example, in Magic Kingdom, Starbucks is known as Main Street Bakery. In Animal Kingdom, it's called Creature Comforts. In Hollywood Studios, it's called the Trolley Car Cafe. And in Epcot, it's called Traveler's Cafe. At these spots, you can find most of what you can find at your local Starbucks, but you can also usually find long lines too. Now for this comparison, we're breaking down Starbucks and Joffrey's into three categories, crowds, convenience, and perks. So let's talk crowds. When it comes to crowds, Starbucks is no stranger. With one Starbucks location per Disney park, you can expect crowds and long lines. So there's at least one Starbucks that you can find in each of the four Disney World theme parks, and they are crowded. <laughs> If you go first thing in the morning, you will find a, a massive line at each of these Starbucks locations. And once you get inside, it is just, it's incredibly crowded. Um, once you are waiting for your name to be called, every part of the process is crowded. They move through it pretty quickly, but just know if you go first thing in the morning, you're not getting out of there anytime soon. The thing about the lines for Starbucks is that, especially in Magic Kingdom, they can stay long all day. They do tend to die down a little closer to the evening, but in the morning and the afternoon when most people want coffee, those lines are crazy long. It might be worth it for you. I can't get enough of that pumpkin cream cold brew, and I am guilty of using my Magic Kingdom time to stand in that line. But you're paying a lot of money to be in a Disney park each day, so waiting in a 25 minute Starbucks line when you could be waiting for one of your favorite attractions might not be worth it. Disney World Starbucks locations serve both drinks and bakery items, sometimes including those mega large Mickey shaped cinnamon rolls. So the line can also depend on what the people in front of you are ordering. War Eagle Auburn said, they really need a line to order breakfast sandwiches and another if you just get coffee. All the people in front of me were picking things for the dining plan and I just wanted a little old cup of coffee, which took 20 minutes. I love coffee. I'm addicted to coffee. I am not ashamed to say that. A lot of you know that about me. But there is nothing worse than strolling into a theme park and looking at how long the Starbucks line is. It is daunting. I have literally seen the Magic Kingdom, the bakery line, go all the way down Main Street, down Center Street. It's too long. Where that line is so long, it's almost back to Pizza Bari. Convenience is important in Disney World, and it's always good to find ways to save time. With Starbucks, you're probably not going to find anything extra other than people. There's only one location per Disney park, and Starbucks does not accept mobile order or discounts in Disney parks, so you probably won't save money or time. One of our readers, Megan Dirksen, noted that they do accept Starbucks gift cards. We rack up the dollars on a Starbucks gift card. Then, when we vacation at Disney, we have at least one meal paid for, maybe two, plus a nighttime dessert. We all just love the sandwiches, priced at roughly $5 each. I even go so far as to bring in a large bag of chips to share. And with Starbucks locations at each of the main parks plus Disney Springs, it's a win. 
So one of the major downsides to the Starbucks in the park is that you cannot mobile order. You cannot order it through the Starbucks app or through my Disney experience ahead of time. You also cannot use your Starbucks points. You can use the app to pay for your Starbucks order, but keep in mind that you are not going to be able to use points there. One exception for the points rule is that you can use them in Disney Springs. You're not going to be able to within the parks, but the Starbucks location in Disney Springs is a different story. If you're a Starbucks fan, you might be willing to deal with the crowds and lines for that familiar taste of your favorite drink. And when it comes to theming, several of our readers mentioned the unique way Disney World themes each Starbucks location to integrate with the Disney Park is fun. Several of our readers voted for Starbucks flavor over Joffrey's. Reader Noelle L. voted Starbucks. Never understood the love for Joffrey's. Too watered down, no flavor. And Wendy W. said, I'm going to be honest, in a blind taste test, Starbucks wins for me. My favorite drink at Starbucks is something pumpkin. There's something pumpkin in this very cup. I love me a pumpkin some. So I like the pumpkin cream cold foam at Starbucks. Um, half of the sweetener though, they make it too sweet. Or what I usually get is just like a big old iced coffee and I have them throw a little cream in there and some pumpkin syrup. Um, but what's fun about it at Walt Disney World is the cup. It's the cup. It's the beautiful pixie dusted Disney character cup that you can only get at Walt Disney World or a Disney park when you're drinking your Starbucks. So it's like your iconic Starbucks cup and then you've got the pixie dust and the characters on it. Like you gotta go take a picture of it in front of the castle. I don't make the rules. So yeah, it's just Starbucks that I can get anywhere, but it definitely tastes better on Main Street. One very cool thing about each of the Starbucks in the parks is that you are going to find they are very well themed to the park that they are in. For example, Creature Comforts, which is the Starbucks in Animal Kingdom, you're never just gonna be walking through and say, oh, well, there's a Starbucks, because it's a lot better themed and themed to fit into that park, both inside and outside. If you're a Starbucks fan, getting that classic Starbucks taste might be worth the lines and full price menu. Amy L voted Starbucks. Tried Joffrey's for the first time in August and was so disappointed. Really don't know what all the hype is about. Joffrey's is good and if you're a coffee lover, you might like it. But if you typically drink Starbucks, if you like sweeter drinks, if you have a downright favorite, then being able to get that at Starbucks in the park is a huge perk. You don't want to have coffee that's not your favorite when you really need that fuel to get you through your day. So knowing that you've got your old reliable Starbucks order, that can be nice for some people. Maybe you don't want to try something new. The pros. You know what you're getting, so you don't have to worry about getting a coffee you don't like. In Disney World, you'll find Starbucks locations with themed names and decor, which makes them fun to visit and different from your typical hometown Starbucks. You don't have to find a new coffee drink to try in Disney World. You can get your fave Starbucks drink. The cons. It's not really unique. I mean, let's be real. There's a Starbucks on practically every corner. You don't have to visit Disney World to get Starbucks. Disney World Starbucks locations are known for their long lines and crowds, so don't expect a quick in and out experience. Without any discounts or mobile order options in the parks, you're paying full price and likely waiting in a long line. Next up, Joffrey's. Joffrey's Coffee and Tea Company is the official specialty coffee of Disney parks, and you can find multiple kiosks located throughout each Disney park, Disney Springs, and Disney Resort hotels. Joffrey's is known for their Shaken Jamaican Cold Brew, a unique blend made with 100% Arabica beans, slowly blended with smooth caramel, rich vanilla, and coffee liqueur flavor. Joffrey's locations take discounts and frequently have shorter lines, so it's a great alternative to Starbucks in Disney World. If you need your coffee and you need it now, Joffrey's is a great option in Disney World. With so many kiosk locations scattered throughout each Disney park and also Disney resorts, it's not only easy to find a location, there are usually shorter lines. When it comes to crowds, Joffrey's comes out on top. Joffrey's locations, there are more of them, it feels like, but they're like sneaky. Like a lot of people don't realize that you're, you've stumbled upon a beautiful coffee cart when you find a Joffrey's. They're a little more hidden, but they're in really great locations. There's one at the Transportation and Ticket Center. That's my ear and back. There's one at the Transportation and Ticket Center at Magic Kingdom. There's one outside Animal Kingdom. There's one outside um, 
Epcot. So the Joffrey's locations, there's also one um, as you're going into to Pixar Place. Like, so if you're making your dash to ride Slinky Dog in the morning, you got a coffee spot right there. So the, the Joffrey's are less obvious. They're not as big and flashy, but they're, they're where you need them to be. Personally, when it comes to getting a cup of coffee in the morning, I find that Joffrey's usually has less of a line than any of the Starbucks locations do. I know in Disney's Hollywood Studios, I always forego going to Trolley Car Cafe, which is the Starbucks there, and I instead go to the Joffrey's location over towards Toy Story Land. There will be a bit of a line because there are other people that think this way, but typically it is nowhere near as long or as long of a wait as you will find at Starbucks. Reader Brandy D pointed out that even Starbucks fans might prefer the convenience of Joffrey's. Not gonna lie, I prefer the taste of Starbucks. However, if I'm at Disney, I'm going to hit up Joffrey's instead. Mama isn't waiting in a long bottom line just for a preference. Any old Joffrey's cart will do in a pinch. I actually do like some of the options at Starbucks more than I like the options at Joffrey's. I love both, don't get me wrong, but um, there's a, there are days when I just really want a Starbucks coffee. That said, those lines can be so, so just like much longer than the Joffrey's lines. Like, why would I wait in a 25 minute Starbucks line when I can get almost just as good coffee at Joffrey's in my opinion? with just a five minute wait or no wait. We've already mentioned the convenience of so many Joffrey's locations, but that's not the only convenience Joffrey's has. Select Joffrey's locations now accept mobile order, which means you don't even have to wait in line for your coffee. Joffrey's also offers 20% off all drinks, excluding alcohol, from Disney Visa Card members, Disney Vacation Club members, and Disney World annual pass holders. One other major advantage in Joffrey's favor versus Starbucks is that you can typically use your annual pass holder discount at these locations. So there are going to be ways to get discounts on your cup of coffee versus Starbucks where you aren't gonna be able to use your points for any kind of discount. You can mobile order Joffrey's Coffee in many Disney World resorts and also from locations including Joffrey's Skyliner Kiosk at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort and at Contemporary Grounds at Disney's Contemporary Resort. Maggie P noted that they prefer Starbucks, but Joffrey's is more convenient as far as a shorter if no line. Plus, they have a couple by the Skyliners. So super easy to just grab my coffee there. It's just a lot easier to quickly grab Joffrey's than it is Starbucks in Disney World. In most locations, there's only one or maybe two Starbucks locations in a park or in Disney Springs, there's only two. Uh, whereas Joffrey's, there's usually anywhere between one and four in a given park, which means shorter lines across the Joffrey's. You might be closer to one, you're not gonna be trekking across the park. So if it's just easier to grab Joffrey's, then that's totally okay. Especially because their coffee is good and unique to Disney World. Joffrey's kiosks are scattered throughout Disney parks and many of them feature designs that fit in with the park decor. Joffrey's also has unique offerings that Starbucks doesn't, like ripples on top of lattes and even alcoholic add-ins. At Contemporary Grounds, you can get latte art for 50 cents. Our readers were not silent about their preferences for the taste of Joffrey's coffee over Starbucks, even their special seasonal flavors like the pumpkin creme brulee cold brew. Jessica S. said their shaken Jamaican cold brew is amazing, as are all of the pumpkin flavors. And Don H. voted Joffrey's, better coffee and better value. Here's the thing about Joffrey's coffee. The coffee itself is for sure better than Starbucks coffee. I love coffee, I'm not a coffee snob though, but even I know that the Joffrey's coffee like on its own tastes a lot better. What I like to get at Joffrey's are their cold brews. Um, year round, I enjoy the shaken Jamaican, um, or during the fall, I of course enjoy my pumpkin creme brulee cold brew. And I just get those black most of the time because the coffee itself is flavored with cinnamon and nutmeg or coconut or whatever the seasoning is. Um, and so then I just get that black cold brew and it is fantastic, no frills, incredible coffee. That it, Joffrey's coffee is, is definitely superior. My earring fell off. The donuts, now you all probably know I don't care for donuts. However, I will give kudos to Joffrey's donuts because they are brought in fresh daily 
from a local Orlando bakery called Donut King and they're very good donuts. I don't like donuts, but I know what a good donut tastes like. And those are very, very good, giant, flaky, delicious donuts. Also, I wanna shout out to the Joffrey's locations. There's a few around Walt Disney World that will put a character or your face on your coffee for 50 cents. For 50 cents, you can put your own selfie or they have certain characters you can print on the foam on your coffee. That's awesome, that's magical. There's nothing more magical than drinking a latte with Mickey on it or your own face. The pros. Not only can you save your AP discount at Joffrey's in Disney World, you can also use mobile order at select locations. If you need coffee in Disney World, it's easier to find a Joffrey's than a Starbucks, and with so many locations, the lines are usually shorter. Joffrey's is really good, y'all. Many of our readers mentioned the great taste of Joffrey's espresso and cold brew. The cons. If you have a very specific Starbucks order or coffee drink, you might not find it at Joffrey's. If you just have a hankering for your Starbucks order, you might not want to try a new coffee at Joffrey's. If you do happen to try Joffrey's in Disney World and really like it, it's just kind of a bummer to know you probably won't be able to find it in your hometown. So when it comes to lines and crowds, Joffrey's is the coffee to get if you don't want to wait. Still, some of our readers prefer the taste and familiarity of Starbucks over Joffrey's. So how did this all work out? Well, according to our readers, the winner of the Disney World caffeine debate is Joffrey's. With a whopping 74% of the vote, over 26% for Starbucks, Joffrey's comes out on top for Disney World coffee, according to All Ears readers. So how did you vote? Well, if you didn't vote, then it's about time you head over to All Ears socials on Facebook and Instagram for more Disney World throwdowns and allears.net to leave your reviews for everything Disney Parks related, hotels, restaurants, rides, and more. It's all up to you to change this list right now by leaving your own review, and who knows, your opinion may be the tiebreaker in a future episode. If you like this video, please go ahead and click on that thumbs up. Be sure to stay tuned to All Ears TV and AllEars.net for more Disney news. Follow us on social media at AllEarsNet. New to the channel? Check out our other All Ears videos right here and please subscribe to All Ears Net and clang that little notification bell so you immediately get notified when we post a new video. This is Chris for All Ears TV. See you next time. <laughs>